What's up guys? So this is not going to be a DIY video. There's plenty of those on here. This is more just kind of a knowledge video uh, towards if you're thinking about buying a used above ground solid sided pool. My advice would be don't. Uh, the only way I would do another used solid sided above ground pool is if somebody gave it to me for free. And then I would probably still just buy a new one. Um, this was completely up when I bought it and me and one of my brothers, it took us about, I think two hours to, to disassemble it, uh, to reassemble it will be a lot longer than that. Um, we fought wasp, yellow jackets, all sorts of stuff, taking it down. The wasp getting these, if I get my finger right direction, there were some in the back side of these, uh, post, whatever you want to call them, columns. Uh, some in the back side of it, some underneath the rail that goes ar across the top of those. Uh, some underneath the guy's deck. Gave $600 uh, for the pool. It was the frame, the pump, the uh, sand filter, all that kind of stuff. Anytime you take down a pool, from what I understand, you have to replace the liner. This liner, it was junk anyway, which is why they was getting rid of the pool. Um, at the time, let's see, this pool's 27 foot across, uh, 52 or 54 inches deep. I don't remember exact. Uh, two years ago when I bought the liner, the liner was 12 to 1500 bucks. Gave 600 bucks for the pool, and then the liner, so you're looking at 1800 to $2,000. The sand filter, uh, the top on it, if I could get to it, I'd show you, but the top on it ended up being cracked. So I ended up having to buy a new sand filter. Uh, that ended up being somewhere around 600 bucks. Then the foam that you put underneath the liner, that was another somewhere around 400 bucks. For the liner, for the sand, for the the filter, uh, all that was somewhere around five, six hundred bucks. Uh, so then, having to reassemble it out here, all these little darn things, the bottom track, unused pool, these. They was all full of crud. They had uh, sand in them, dirt in them, roots from just the people's grass. So we got them all cleaned out just now. A couple of them's got some Liberty bands. Hopefully that won't throw any problems. For these pools, I don't know how many parts there are, but when you get one disassembled, it looks like 4,000 parts. There's not really 4,000 parts, but there's a lot of parts. Uh, if you are going to go ahead and buy a used pool, make sure to take plenty, plenty, plenty of pictures and plenty of videos of the pool itself whenever it's complete. Uh, like whenever you take basically every step, well, that sounds horrible right there. Basically every step that you do disassembling it, like taking the top cap off, all the brackets that hold it, um, this little top rail that, that goes on top of the, the wall and actually holds the liner. There's hundreds of screws, maybe even close to a thousand screws uh, that hold all the different various pieces and parts together. So just make sure to take plenty, plenty, plenty of pictures and it doesn't hurt to take some video too. Um, I did that thankfully It's been two years ago uh, Like I was saying since we took this pool down Thankfully I bought the liner right after I got the pool Because um, it's 27 foot across Well, I was thinking when I was doing the dirt work um, Fixing the layout my pavers down here where the pool is going to sit on in my head I was thinking it was 30 foot across. 
So I started getting stuff laid out and the little bottom track, uh, stuff wasn't coming out right. So I went through my pictures, went through my videos that I had from whenever um, I was taking it down and found out lo and behold, it was only 27 feet. No biggie. Um, I was wanting my wall. I was wanting it a little closer to the pool. Kind of about the back side of the the back side of the paver. I was wanting it just like a foot away from the pool. Instead, I'm about three foot. Oh well, no biggie. We'll end up putting a, a deck or something out here anyway. But I was hoping for it to be closer. That way, eventually, if I wanted to, this retainer wall that I've built, build it on up to about the height of the porch. And we could pour a slab across it and have the porch extend out here onto a patio uh, to where it almost be like an in-ground pool, which is why it is set down in. That way it'll be just a hair bit higher than the porch. Not a whole lot. So all this dirt work ended up costing me about 29000 Not for the dirt work, but for that thing. Uh, me and my dad bought it. His uncle bought that back old brand new. He was going to come do the dirt work for me. His health deteriorated and was selling out. So I ended up buying the backhoe. That way I could do my dirt work. It would have been better if I would have just paid somebody. But after I get done, I can sell the backhoe and recoup my money or most of it. Plus, we got some other stuff to do. But anyway, that's all I've got for now. As far as my advice, if you're thinking about buying a used pool, don't. Just go buy you a new one. Um, by the time you take it down, you t take several hours to take it down. Uh, you clean the parts and pieces up, buy the new liner. If you're like me, end up having to buy a, uh, a new sand filter. It comes out to, you might as well just buy a new pool. You know, it may have saved me a few hundred dollars. That ain't worth it. Just go buy a new pool. But anyways, that's my advice. You guys do whatever you want to. If you're still crazy and like me, trying to save a few dollars, you buy a used one. There's plenty of DIY videos here on YouTube to help you put it up. I've watched several. Uh, even before I took the pool down. So anyways, until next time, you guys have a good one.